My name is Nikki. I'm an English makeup artist and I live with Carlo and our daughter Sky in Positano, Italy. Our house is far from the road but surrounded by fruit trees and olive groves and we grow our own food. We'll show you what it's really like to live on the Amalfi Coast. Subscribe and welcome to the Positano Diaries. This morning I am going to make struffoli, I think, but I'm hoping that we're going to make donuts as well with Agnello, one of my neighbours. And if you remember from the last video, they sent us up a little box full of freshly made donuts that they'd made. So I'm taking the same box back down and I filled it with some soaps that I've made because I haven't got anything sweet to give them. So soaps it is. So I'm on my way down there now and let's see what we're going to make. And at the very end of this video, there's a special guest appearance from my dad who has not appeared in my videos for about a year now, but um, he is going to tell you about his opinion of the Italian Christmas donuts, which he experienced when he was here for Christmas about three years ago. So stick around to watch that. I can take them some eggs too, because Tadosa said the other day that her chickens don't lay anymore. So there we go. I've just arrived at Aniela's house and I have been given immediately a hot chocolate. Look at this hot chocolate. Amazing. And this is the tea that Teresa makes. She calls it her tea of salads. Cos'altro c'è qua dentro? Devi far bollire l'acqua con lo zucchero e poi alla fine metto la bustina del tè per un minuto, un minuto e mezzo e poi chiudo this is the view from the boy's window isn't that amazing wouldn't you love to wake up to that every single morning okay so we are in the kitchen with Aniello and we are going to start off by making struffoli and then we're going to be making the donuts so half a kilo of flour and make it into a circle on your workbench. Poi zucchero, 150 grammi. Pour it into the middle. Poi 25 grammi di burro. And the butter in Italy comes in these little packets. It's all locally made. Ti faccia faccia occhio, vero? Ah. Però so, io più o meno. He doesn't need to weigh it. <laughs> Cinque uova. Ah, ok. Five eggs. In, in cui mm. quattro intere sì. e un tuorlo. Ok. So five eggs, four whole eggs, and one yellow, one yolk. I have to learn to do this, breaking eggs on themselves. Here's a vampire for a questo. Rompere un uovo o tosto l'altro? Okay. Gonna add a little bit of lemon. And then it all needs to be mixed up. I've never seen this done before, so I'm sort of like explaining as I see what he's doing, or as he's telling me. Okay, so each piece of sausage is going to be rolled into a grissini. Breadsticks. I see where we're going now with these. Mettiamo la farina, non attaccano, hai capito? Sì. Ok, più leggera. È un po' difficile. Più leggera ci volevo. Schiacciate la grande. There is one litre of vegetable oil in this pan to fry the struffoli. It's got to be very, very hot. It is also important that you have a high pan like this so that the oil doesn't escape out of it because when the oil boils very hot, it, it goes up and up and up and it will come out. If, it's, if the pan is too low, the oil will come out like, like a volcano. And now he's gonna chop up the strawfully. Look at that. Benissimo così. <laughs> hey. And then just 
roll them in flour, put them to the side and do some more. Okay, now it is important to get rid of the excess flour. So just put the struffli in a sieve and just tap the flour away. Now, Aniela has just pointed out to me that struffli are not round. And when you see them in uh, bowls on people's <coughs> tables, they are round. These ones obviously have just been chopped up and apparently there's a trick to make them round. Allora, il trucco è questo qua. Devi girare. Ah. Okay. So if you, ah, see, si, <laughs> So that is it. If you put them in the oil and then stir them really, really fast, it batters all the edges away and they end up lovely and round. Wow. <laughs> what has just struck me is the simplicity of these Christmas treats compared to the British Christmas cake and Christmas pudding. That which is stuffed with uh, candies and fed with a bottle of whiskey or brandy over time. It's incredible how simple these are. Much, much easier to make. So the more and more he does, the higher the oil is rising. And this is why you need a, <laughs> this is why you need a high pan to do this in. Ecco. Wow. Guarda. Yeah, that could be dangerous. And Aniela says that once you have used this oil to make struffoli, it's not good to make anything else with, so it needs to be thrown away. And what he does is he composts it in the garden by pouring it around any trees that are growing in the garden. And now we're going to make the potato donuts. And Aniela is making it with one kilo of potatoes and one kilo of flour. The potatoes, he boils until they're soft with the skin on, and then he peels them. If you boil the potatoes with the skin off, they absorb too much water. A glass of warm milk, which is used to... Um... Sono le nostre uova, sono sei, sono uova fresche di, di, di oggi e ieri. Grazie, grazie. <laughs> so first of all you want a glass of warm milk which will melt the yeast. 100 grams of yeast. E deve sciogliere nel latte il lievito. Siamo il lievito dentro. 100 grams of sugar and 100 grams of butter. So allora, lo mette nella farina, così. Pinch of salt into the flour, never put the salt into the yeast. Bad things will happen. And now the potatoes need to be squashed. Here we go. Okay, so those trays hold 20 donuts each. E ci vogliono quattro uova. Okay. E quattro. Il sale, lievito, burro, uova e zucchero. Mm. A posto. O iniziamo a imbastare. è la crema di choux 
quindi a cioccolata. Ah sì? Che adesso è tutte le scelte. Buongiorno. 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 Come stai? Eh, buono. Buongiorno. Qui la cosa buona, così. Easy as that. Do you think you're seeing double you are? <laughs> so they need to be covered up in a warm place. Just for a while. We have made 60 zeppole, so if that's a bit too many for you, you can always cut the recipe in half. The most important part of the zeppole, the donuts, is of course the sugary coating. So it's a mixture of sugar and cinnamon. Easy peasy. This is the pan that we're going to fry the zeppole in. So you just need a frying pan really. And there is actually a bottle and a half of sunflower oil in there. While we are waiting for the zeppole to rise a little bit, I'm going to show you Aniello and Teresa's Christmas presepe. And it's traditional here to build a little nativity scene in your house. And they're often made with these pieces of moss and cork and there's always a little manger and of course the baby Jesus is placed in there at midnight on Christmas Eve. There's the houses with all the little lights in. There's the three kings. So once you put them in the pan they grow as well. You can see that they're getting much much bigger. Put them into a colander so that they can just drip out some of that oil. Mm -hmm. Then they get rolled in that sugar and cinnamon. This is a golden donut. This is one of the prizes from the Festa of the Zeppole, the donut festival in Positano on the beach. Another one there, Aniello has won two over the years. And there we are. A whole tray full of beautiful potato zeppole. That is how you make zeppole and struffoli for Christmas. I now have a heavy, heavy bag full, which is obviously far too many for us. So I'm gonna take these down to Carlo's parents and they can enjoy them all. I have decided to leave the zeppole with Carlo because he's gonna go down and see his mum later. And that saves me about 300 steps. So that's good for me because I've got to walk back home. I'm going to leave the recipes in the description box below this video so if you want to have a go yourselves you can go there for the information or you can always google it. Anyhow, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed making Zeppolo with Aniello and me and I will see you on the next video. <laughs> Bye! So, Grandad, what do you think about the donuts we have for Christmas in Italy? I think you're weird. I think everyone's weird out there. Christmas Day on the beach, we're going for a picnic. Nikki, Carla, and all the friends, Sky was, was with us. And uh, they came with their boxes, their picnic bags, their bottles. Not much drinking.
they opened up all their boxes and they were full of donuts. <laughs> not jam donuts, not cream donuts, just donuts. Um, I know we're weird in England, we have mince pies and other, other people have fish and all sorts of things, but never donuts at Christmas. And it seemed to be, it seemed to be a religion out there. Everybody made donuts. 